Welcome to another video for valuation of bonds and shares. In this video, we will look at an example involving current yield, yield to maturity and semi-annual payments. A bond that matures in 8 years has a 10% coupon rate, semi-annual payments a face value of rupees 1000 and an 8.5% current yield. What is the bond's nominal yield to maturity? So let us first note down the information that has been provided to us. So the maturity time frame is 8 years, the interest rate is 10%, the face value is rupees 1000, current yield is 8.5% interest is payable semi annually. So let us represent this in the form of a time scale. Say this is zero. Now maturity time frame is 8 years and after every 6 months the interest is being paid. So total number of periods during which the interest is being paid will be 8 into 2 which is 16. So if this timeline represents 8 years this has to be divided into 16 equal parts and each part will represent one period. So one, two, three, and so on. And we'll have 15 and 16. Now, what is the interest rate per period? So interest rate annually is 10%. So per period, it will be half because period is half year. So this will be 5%. So now 5% of Face value is 1000. So this becomes 5 by 100 into 1000. These two zeros get cancelled with these two zeros. So this is 50 rupees. So 50 rupees is the interest that the investor will get at the end of every six months. And of course, at the end of the tenure, he'll get the maturity value, which is the thousand rupees. Now we have to find out the bonds nominal yield to maturity. Nominal yield to maturity is basically the annual yield to maturity. Now we know that in order to find yield to maturity we have to find out the rate of return at which the present value of the bond is equal to the sum of the present values of the cash flows. So basically P0 should be equal to if you take this as PV1 and then PV2 and so on. So we'll have PV this will be PV16 and this will be PV17. So the present value of the bond will be equal to PV1 plus PV2 plus PV3 and so on plus PV15 plus PV16 plus PV17. And we know that present value is equal to 
the future value divided by 1 plus interest rate and interest rate will be the yield to maturity. We'll take PV16, so PV16 will also be future value divided by 1 plus YTM to the power 16 plus, now PV17 will be taking consideration of the maturity value divided by 1 plus YTM to the power 16. So we know the future value which is the interest value of 15, we know the value of M which is 1000 we want to find out yield to maturity but we don't know the present value of the bond but we have been given that the current yield is 8.5 percent so what is current yield so current yield is equal to annual interest payments divided by the bonds current value. Now what is current yield? So current yield is 8.5% but while using this value in the formula we will divide this by 100 so this will become 0 0.085 and this is equal to annual interest payment. Now the 50 rupee interest payment is 6 monthly but current yield considers annual interest payment. So if in 6 months the interest is 50 rupees, in one full year the interest will be 100 rupees. So 100 divided by bonds current value which is B0. So therefore B0 is equal to 100 divided by 0 0.085 and this is equal to 1176.47 rupees. So the present value of the bond is 1176.47 rupees. So now we can plug this value in this formula here. So let's do that. So Let's plug in the value. So B0 is 1176.47. Now this future value is nothing but the interest amount, which is 50 divided by 1 plus yield to maturity to the power 1 plus 50 divided by 1 plus yield to maturity square plus 50 divided by 1 plus yield to maturity to the power 16 plus m is 1000 divided by 1 plus yield to maturity to the power 16. Now when we solve this we get yield to maturity is 3.5368%. But if you recall, this yield to maturity was considering semi-annual payments. So this is half yearly rate of return. But we want the nominal yield to maturity, which will be the annual yield to maturity. So yield to maturity nominal is equal to 3.5368 into 2 which is equal to 7.0736 percent. So this will be the annual yield to maturity.